Well, it means that we have even more evidence that a very hot, deadly toxin sarin gas was used against Syrian civilians. At least under three separate instances in March of last year in the city of Latmine in the northern Hama province, the northwest part of Syria. Now, this city is just 15 kilometers away from Khan Shrikhun, where on April 30th of last year, the Assad regime was believed to have used sarin gas against that city to killing over 100 civilians. That led to retaliatory airstrikes by the United States against the Assad regime's military. These latest findings by the OPCW, which has been given a mandate by the United Nations meme, that, on the police th that the regime had used sarin gas on multiple instances prior to that deadly mass attack on April 30th of last year. And it also means that we have even more evidence based on scientific samples that the Assad regime maintains illegally a covert chemical weapons program um, that is hidden from international inspectors and against international law. Of course, the Assad regime continues to deny that it maintains this deadly toxin sarin gas or that it's used it against the innocent civilians. And as you mentioned, the United Nations watchdog group, the OPCW, does not proportion blame on who used sarin gas against the civilians, but all the scientific indicators on the ground strongly suggest that it was the Assad regime's forces that used sarin gas in Hama province last year based on the scientific evidence being presented by the OPCW. And, and what are the potential diplomatic consequences? Well, one potential consequence here is that we're already seeing signals by some countries that want to change the mandate of OPCW so that the scientists and that this special commission can apportion blame on who used this chemical weapon, these chemical weapons against civilians. We're already seeing, uh, we've already, already seen a statement by the United Kingdom's foreign minister, Boris uh, Johnson, that he wants to push the United Nations and the United Nations Security Council to specifically allow the OPCW to provide a report on who they, who they believe officially use these chemical weapons. But of course, uh, Russia, an ally of the Assad regime, has a veto there and has continues to stand by the Assad regime that they have not used chemical weapons against innocent civilians. So we may be deadlocked, but what this does strongly suggest is that the Assad regime still has a chemical weapons stockpile capability and he may be willing to use it yet again against innocent Syrian civilians.